y'all having a great Friday, man. Freestyle Friday here. It's your boy, Marco, man. I, I had to put that one in. It's a quick little intro, too. It's just fast and quick. But anytime you get so up close and personal with somebody which is like blood squirting out like that, man, that's crazy talk. So I'm rolling over here with my main man, Fabio, hitting up some aftermath. I'm going to talk a little about this. I know it's late in the game. Cycling, we talk about map packs, but hey, whatever maps, whatever. I've never really talked about Aftermath much. I've played it a couple times uh, on my channel. I remember Manic Monday where I did Knife Only, um, where I did it on Aftermath. Um, Aftermath is like one of the most hated maps in this game. I think it kind of goes drone Aftermath, probably, like one and two. Um, I think there's there's just a, an issue, and I, I understand this part. There's an issue with just dilapidated maps. So stuff where like everything's broken and destroyed, no one really enjoys that. We kind of enjoy you know the video game feel of like, hey, we're in rush. Look at all these colors. We're fighting through paintball. Whereas you know this is a little bit more realistic as to what you probably be fighting in. You know, if like they have all shit broke loose, you probably wouldn't be in a paintball ring or a paintball uh, yeah, facility. You'd probably be outside over here in like the rubble. Uh, but we don't like that though. We don't. Maybe we like it on like our our, our single player. Sure, it gives you that feel of realism. But in this, it's kind of like, oh, look how everything's broken. Um, I get that because I like the colors too, and you know, it's part of the reason why I'm nervous about like the Infinity War maps and the ghosts. I feel like you know they they always just set your tone everything up and just make it look miserable. Um, but I mean, it, it has its place in it. You know, shit hit the fan. We're fighting here. Like, what do you want it to look like? Um, and then I think it's just people just don't like, like, they just don't like the map layout itself. And I can't believe I got that kill on that dude. I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, there's no way I'm killing you, homie. You got me. You got me. But luckily, hopefully I got a cloud over here with the lightning strike because they just opened up the spawn right there. Please, please, please. And if I keep saying that, James Brown's going to come back from the dead and want, like, a damn, uh, some damn royalty. Is James Brown dead? That is the big question. I'm... I'm confident that James Brown's dead, but to tell you the truth, I don't really know. I've never really looked it up or anything, so I'm, I'm assuming he's dead just because, like, the age and the lifestyle he lived, but if you know if James Brown's dead, jot it down in the comments below. I'd be curious to see if James, if James Brown's still alive, I gotta go track him down, but I'm almost confident he's dead, and I probably assume he overdosed on something. Check this out. I call the lightning strike, and I hop right in here. Smartly played right there, because I called that damn thing way too close to myself. Don't ever call lightning strike myself, and look at that. That got the guy as he was coming inside the building. So talk about clutch right there. Woof. Throw the C4 up there, thinking that there might be somebody. Hoping that there might be somebody, too, because I could damn sure use the extra points right here to get close to this visa. Unfortunately, don't get anybody. I don't mind. I mean, like, Aftermath wouldn't be one of those maps where I say, Oh, man, thank God Aftermath came up. It probably wouldn't even be a map that I'd vote. Um, but it's not a map that I'd vote against either. It's not a map that when I see, I'm like, nope. Or a map that like when I see, I just disappear the lobby. I don't really have any map like that where I just don't play it. I have on occasion, say if it's like the last game I'm playing, I'm playing that night and drone comes up, I'll just call it a night. I'll be like, you know, I'm going to bed. I have done that, but I've never necessarily left because drone got picked either. Um, I understand why drone's not a fan favorite. Okay, that's fine. I didn't know. Hey, I'm not only defending you, telling you you should like aftermath. You like whatever the hell you like. You could tell me that your favorite map um, is downturn from Modern Warfare 3, which is like I think unanimously voted the worst map ever. If you like it, go ahead. I don't have any beef with downturn. I I never understood the beef with downturn. Uh, to this day, I still don't really, and I don't really ask about it much. It's not a popular opinion, so keep it on the low. Keep it up. Keep that on the DL. Don't really tell nobody about that. But downturn, I'm alright with down. You, you know, I keep this on the. I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. I have on occasion voted for downturn. And you wanna know something else? I have on occasion voted for aftermath. But don't be telling nobody. Shh. shh. We're gonna keep that between me and you. What's the difference between me and you? Good song as well. Um, but in all seriousness, I mean, aftermath to me never really had such disdain for uh, i think people don't like it it's a bigger map uh, people don't like big maps but even this being a big map is a small map like this to me is villa size from yesterday's video if you haven't checked out yesterday's video check it out shameless plug um it's my channel hey what the hell you want me to do subscribe to it follow me on twitter follow me on instagram all that hood stuff it's, it's awesome it's great friend me on facebook psych um and all that beautiful beautiful stuff Obviously, climbing up stuff is still not my uh, my my forte. Can't do it. But check this out. I go all the way around, and I don't know. It's it really funny when I got this kill. I was kind of thinking. I'm assuming that that plant just shifted there, uh, just because like shit, you know, lightning strike or something moved it, or you know, something, something, something happened there that that moved over there. But I was like, imagine if this guy somehow found a way to move there. He moved the damn plant over there to stay under cover because that was very well set up for him. Talk about being set up over cover. Let me tell you a little story before I even keep defending the aftermath a little bit more. Um, so there was this youth team in Italy, right? I was telling Jay this the other day. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty cool. This youth team in Italy, soccer. 
a uh, youth soccer team, and their coach was caught spying on another team. Now, you think you're Bill Belichick, you think Spygate, you know, you think uh, James Bond spy. No, 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 this is John Rambo style. So he was dressed up full like military camo. He was sitting in the bushes. The other team heard something like in the bushes. They went to go check it out, and boom, they roll onto this coach who's just watching them. And like the guy admitted, he's like, "Yeah, I'm over here spying you guys, you know, so I can know like the plays, so I can know like what's going on." And check that out right there. I mean, I thought we were going for the nuclear man. Aftermath sucks, yo. Let me tell you something. Aftermath is one of the worst maps ever made in Call of Duty. There's no way you could ever play Aftermath. Aftermath is ridiculous. I almost had a nuclear experience going on in here to bring you guys to close out the week on a Freestyle Friday. And Aftermath decided to ruin it by putting a random post hanging on the wall. Aftermath is ludicrous. Aftermath is horrible. Don't ever play Aftermath. Aftermath is bad. Anyway, going back to my man over there from Genoa. Uh, Genoa, I think it was Genoa San Pedro. Uh, Genoa. Uh, the youth, the team over there. So he got caught right hand, and he said, "He's like, yeah, I'm, you know, spying these guys. My fault. Full dressed up in Rambo gear, like decked out with like a notepad writing stuff down. Crazy. The pictures nuts. Um, the best part though was the guy, the team that caught him on their website. They posted it like they caught like a hostage. So they were like, you know, luckily there was no bloodshed um, when we found out about the spying. And they posted it like literally like you know, you know, in the movies where they, they captured, for example, like James Bond's captured one of those movies like Sophia and Me's guys. Well, they, they, they did it like that. They made it seem like they really captured this hostage and they were kind enough to like let him go. Uh, so it was a very interesting dynamic with it because I think, you know, if you kind of find somebody spying in your shit, like you wouldn't be too happy about that. Take for example, when I was uh, younger, I used to look at, uh, look through peepholes and check out out chicks and I'd make you know like those little uh, peepholes you could check out like uh, stuff like that's going on in the bathroom I used to do that and they never really got along too well with that so you got to be careful exactly where you're spying and who you're spying on uh, and the circumstances you're spying on but they took it pretty well uh, pretty um pretty kind to hoss that's pretty cool over there aftermath though in all series it's it's all right it's average map to me it's no biggie uh, but it's definitely not something i'd hate and i don't really get the hate for to tell you the truth aside from that damn pesky pole right there that kept me from the nuclear and hey we said like 13, 12, 14 more kills to go. So, I mean, the nuclear is not guaranteed. But check this out. I was planning on throwing a C4 back, back here. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get a lot more up close and personal and throw that C4, but get stuck again over there. But we're rolling through. These guys are having over a good game. And unfortunately, this guys game comes down to time. And that's, I think, maybe one of the reasons why Aftermath is so popular is because it often comes down to time when you're playing these game modes, even in a game mode like Dom or something. And it still kind of bogs down. It comes down to time. I'm like, word, like, you really think you're going to be hiding over there? Okay, you are hiding over there, and you did manage to kill me. Look at my teammate came in there and got him. Thank you very much, because, man, that was ugly. I knew where he was, and I couldn't kill him. Um, Manic Monday. Yo, if you haven't put in a Manic Monday class, and you're watching these videos, what you doing, son, for real? Anything you throw on, that's what we roll with this past week. Uh, it was double C4s, and then uh, and, and the riot shield from uh, my man Reckless. Uh, next week, uh, next week's next week, so I'm not going to reveal that yet, even though I have been working on it, and I think I'm actually wrapped up on it. Uh, I might play one or two more games, see if I get a better game, but I'm fairly satisfied with the results that I got. Can't complain. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Uh, but you guys, you guys are going to enjoy it next week. I'm, hopefully, I get enough time to do exactly what I want to do. Uh, man, I mean, working, son. Work, work. Work can be difficult, man. Especially football season. I can't even imagine when the NBA starts. Woo! The NBA starts, you might see my channel disappear. For a period of six or seven months, um, but we'll reemerge uh, once the postseason starts. Um, <laughs> now, hopefully, we manage to put some here. It's all a matter of planning um, as best as you can. Hopefully, the Cleveland Indians don't get in the way. Damn, I'm still scarred from the Cleveland Indians, man. They've literally, I'm still like recovering from the Cleveland Indians broadcast. Like that's how like serious that shit was. Like how how far that sent me back in life. You know, I actually like you know. I've been thinking about you know whether I like the jobs that I'm mad or you know whether you know I have to pursue a. A meaningful relationship with a female um because you know the cleveland indians they really just they, they took me to a whole nother level of viewing life and talk about setting me back like 15 years i mean i'm still doing laundry because of the cleveland indians i still haven't been able to damn do my laundry i was gonna do it all that sunday man and damn indians oh give that guy a love tap and then finish him off to see four for yet another v set oh this is a beautiful 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 game you want to know what i title this game when i saved it aftermath bitches <laughs> <laughs> it was just too easy. Um, I should have, you know, if copyright infringement wasn't so bad, I'd put down uh, like a Eminem song, something, Aftermath, all that good stuff that they had over there. Um, Eminem is coming out with a new album, man. I know that, that he released a song for like Ghost or whatnot, that Berserk song. I thought the song was pretty hot. I don't know when his album's coming out. Uh, I'm still waiting on that Drizzy Drake. I still haven't managed to download that, but that's the next one I'm checking it out. Then that's kind of what I'm listening to. Anyway, Magic Monday. Drop down the classes below. It could be anything. It could be as long as it's in this game. I could care less what it could be. Anything that's in the damn game, and hell, if it's not even in the game, we. 
about. It's kind of tough to do it if it's not in the game, but if it's a previous game, we'll do it in a previous game. I don't give a damn. You do whatever the hell you want. We only got a couple ones of these left before ghosts come out, so let's get creative. We'll have some fun with it. Talk about having some fun, man. 60 and 6. Ooh, 45 tags. We having some fun all right with these guys. Hope you guys have a great Friday. Hope you guys have a great, great, great weekend. Yeah, let me know what you're doing this weekend, man. I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. Peace me. Working. Probably. Golly. Definitely not twerking. I can tell you that. I ain't a big twerk guy. Even though if the girls are all right, maybe. All right, man. Have a good one.